Buccaneers. Today we're going to check out the reopened Aquarium of the Pacific and their renovated coral reefs exhibit. The aquarium has implemented many new safety measures such as social distancing, reserve tickets so that the inside doesn't get crowded, and hand sanitizing stations all over the aquarium. They will also check our temperature upon entering. So as you enter the aquarium, there's these starfishes all over the ground. And those are where you're supposed to stand so that you can stay six feet away from other people. And a face mask is required at all times. Hi. Guys. Hi. Good morning. Okay, and same point A. You good? Okay, young man. And same point two. You guys are all good. Hey there friends, welcome back to the Aquarium of the Pacific. It's fantastic <laughs> to see you all again. Health and safety is our top priority, so in order to make sure everyone has a healthy and happy visit, please follow these guidelines. So what, what you just saw was a bunch of characters from the Daily Bubble, which is a series that they post on the Aquarium YouTube channel. And they're just telling you to practice social distancing, wear a face covering, and wash your hands stuff like that. Now we're heading to the Pacific Visions Wing. In the theater, every other row is blocked off so you can social distance. We are at the Honda Pacific Visions Theater for a screening of the new Coral Reef exhibit. in bustling cities, our underwater reefs are filled with life and diverse populations. After the show, we're playing with some interactive exhibits. We are out to meet Sula, the red-footed booby. What's a booby? It's a type of bird. She lives in the ocean, or kind of around the ocean, in a little island. And so she's going to eat fish. The kinds of fish she usually likes to eat are called flying fish. Have you heard of those? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really cool, right? She also eats a lot of squid. Let's take a picture. We're now in the bathroom, and the, uh, the sinks and the urinals are spaced out for social distancing, so every other sink you're not able to use. Also, oh yeah, I need a paper towel. Okay. And then I want to open the door. Try that one. There we go. There are a lot of hand sanitizer stations around the aquarium. Now we're going to check out Coral Reefs, nature's underwater cities, which is newly renovated for the aquarium reopening. This exhibit features the ocean's most diverse ecosystems, home to a quarter of all ocean fish species found around the world. The fish that I'm most excited to find is probably, uh, well, some of these aren't even fish. But maybe the cow knows red because its nose kind of looks like a cow and that's my favorite animal. My favorite animal that I would like to see in there is probably the flash white fish. So we're going to look at two different displays. One is this and the other is here. This one has fake coral and uh, the staff said that the reason why this is fake coral is so that the fish don't eat it because the fish are quite big and you don't want the coral to be eaten. But here, this little or fish, so I suppose they don't eat whatever's here. So this can be real coral. And I think that the real coral looks a lot more colorful than the fake coral. So it's just too bad that they can't put the real coral there or else the fish will eat it. But yeah, coral is really beautiful. Oh, this is Nemo's and Dory's. There's a new sea turtle here. Sea 
And in this exhibit, we see a human hand with a sponge. <laughs> or maybe it's not a human hand. It could be some special species of fish. The cuttlefish are really, really, really tiny. And they, they blend into that big coral rock. But they're on the floor. They're moving. And they kind of look like seashells a bit. Besides the glowing roofs, there's also supposed to be flashlight fish inside. Oh, it's there. Actually, those are not the flashlight fish. Now we see a new, a new, <laughs> what is that? A mom. This is the I see of the glow of the dark fish, see? The blinking. Okay, so this, this is the flashlight fish exhibit. And besides this mop, <laughs> there's uh, all these glowing corals and they are real. They really are glowing coral, so that's fascinating how we get to see it here. There's also a whole bunch of fish down there. Most of them are not flashlight fish because they don't have the, the light. But if you look kind of upwards more, you can see a whole bunch of white things moving around. And that is the flashlight fish, and it is pretty cool. And if you look, you can see them. There's kind of like white sand-ish things at the bottom. So either they added the white sand or it could maybe be poop because we saw the video in the Honda theater and they said that part of the white sand on the coral reef floor is poop. And this parrotfish was just eating his food, which is that clump of white on the floor. really familiar to me, this spot, because here used to be a sea dragon exhibit and we actually spent a night here for a sleepover. We slept right over here. But now this has become the coral reef display. And you can watch the video where we slept over at the aquarium by clicking up here. We had so much fun at the Aquarium of the Pacific and I'm going to talk about the two new things uh, that we experienced today. First was the new coral reefs exhibit. And I liked how uh, we got to see real corals and even glow-in-the-dark corals, yeah. uh, which we've never seen before. And also the flashlight fish, the cow nose ray, all the cool fish. My favorite fish was the parrot fish and flashlight fish. My favorite about the parrot fish was because of the parrot beak. It was kind of like a fish parrot beak and then the flash, flashlight fish, that's what I say. Uh, I like how they communicate with glow. And the second new thing we experienced was all the safety measures. Uh, and I think they did a very good job because aside from the social distancing, the temperature checks, they also limit the number of people that can go inside. So, and since there's a limited amount of people that can go in, the aquarium facility is huge. Uh, there's going to be a lot of room for people to social distance. Also, the movie we watched was really cool because uh, the pictures were awesome and it was also educational. Bye bye. We are going to check. Now we're going to. Or yeah. Now. First, we're going to check now. out, and we actually uh, slept for a night over here, and we actually. Oh, how do I do it? Now we're going to uh -huh. Now we're going to watch a movie at Pacific. Now we're going to watch a movie at Pacific Vision. Now we're going to check out the coral reef at uh, the new coral reef exhibit. In this uh, what do you call this? That thing over there right behind you. No that thing! Things regular, especially after contact with people or surfaces. Looking good, Seymour. Thank you. <laughs> I think I swallowed my mask. Oh, I By following these rules, we can all stay safe and have fun. Have an awesome visit, and we'll see you. You're not going to stop talking. Right? 